Welcome to Bob's Sales Camp. I'm Bob Kimball. And this is Mod 4, Prospecting and Getting Appointments. Hey, let's get something up front. Prospecting is your most important activity. Yes, absolutely. It's not presenting, it's not negotiating, it's not closing, any of that stuff. Prospecting. Because if you can't get face to face with them, what good does that, that other stuff do? So, as we're going to note here in a bit, position yourself as an achievement oriented person in an achievement oriented environment. Now, here's the thing get yourself some referrals from satisfied customers. Do your best. Do a really good shot. You know you've done well. When you've done well, ask for a referral. Uh, let me give you a story on, on my own for how, the, how that worked with me. Um, the first uh, business I had with the Kimball organization, with Coca-Cola Bottlers, was with uh, Birmingham Coca-Cola. Luke Cranford and I had worked with Luke back in Coke USA when he was one of our field sales reps, so I knew him pretty well. Um, got into Birmingham, got the appointment, did the program. We set up the program that we started with a management training program. It's going to be a Friday afternoon and all day Saturday, up in the woods in some cabin up in North Alabama. And then the next week, I was going to go ahead and do the sales reps and, and get that stuff done with them. So, anyhow, um, I'm up there with Luke. We get down toward the uh, end of the day on Friday, and I just want to kind of point this thing out because a lot of times you're actually working when it looks like you're being nice and easy, but that's, that's fine and all that. So Luke and I were talking. Uh, it looks like he's a runner. We talked about getting out and doing a run. So we went out and did a, <clears throat> did a five mile run and uh, got done, sweating, stinking, sat, sat on down in the lobby there and I asked Luke the key question. I knew the answer to it. I said, well, Luke, how do you think the program has gone so far? And he says, I think it's great. Um, in fact, some of the best comments I've had on it have been some of the managers who didn't want to do the program in the first place. Would you say that is a prospect expressing satisfaction? You bet. Ask for a referral. So I said, that's great, Luke. Uh, can you think of anybody else who could benefit from, from a program like this? Note my phrasing. Someone else who could benefit from the program. Put the focus on them. And he says, well, you might contact Bill Hitchcock in Montgomery. So, <clears throat> Monday morning, first thing, I'm calling Bill Hitchcock and um, explain it as I'll show you in the, uh, the full getting the appointment script. Bob Kimball from the Kimball organization. Uh, Luke Cranford suggested I give you a call. I'm doing some um, sales and management training programs with his managers and his field sales reps um, with the idea of kind of building their, their overall skills and, uh, and competence. And I'm sure that's something that you're concerned about on, on, on a regular basis. He said, well, yeah. I said, I'll tell you what. Um, take us maybe 20 minutes to go through some of these ideas. How about tomorrow morning at 10? Yeah, boom, I'm down in Montgomery. Well, I walk in to Montgomery and sitting in the, in the lobby there, uh, waiting for Bill Hitchcock, and his secretary says, well, you just you have to wait a moment, Mr. Kimball, because uh, he's on the phone right now. Guess who he's on the phone with? Luke Cranford. I walk in the door, this thing's a done deal. Um, so, uh, he's saying, hey, this sounds great to me. Can you come back on Thursday and present this to all of our sales managers? Sure. Boom, boom, another trip down Atlanta, Montgomery. Uh, close the deal on the spot at that time. Um, that's how we're talking about, folks, about getting referrals from your satisfied customers. Now, as a, as a part of it, take care of your customers. Regularly send them cards. Regularly send them information which is of value to them that they can use. And then, as we're going to get through some details here, generate prospects through your network of professional people. Here's the thing on your approach to referrals. You are the prime referral source for anything anybody needs. I don't care what they need. They need accounting services. They need car repair. You, you're the one to send them there. Um, on doing that then, um, basically, send referrals with your name on them to your current customers. That makes you perceived as a valuable person. You're not only giving them good services, but you're helping generate their business for them, stuff like this. And here's one word, please don't fail on this one. Country clubs, cultural events, um, business after hours events are places to socialize with people after you meet them, not to meet them. Oh. 
I've gone to some of these chamber after hours little get togethers and there's always some puppy running around trying to do his elevator speech and pass out his business cards. Forget it. That is not going to fly. You don't do that sort of thing overall like that. So let's kind of look at what networking is all about um, and how you're going to approach it overall here. So for one thing, um, you want to make sure that you are going to target your, um, your prospects. Identify who are the prospects that you are most interested in, in getting together with and what are the organizations with which they are affiliated because most of your prospects are in some organization. Maybe it's Small Business Development Center, maybe it's the Chamber, maybe it's Rotary, whatever. Check it out. Figure out where they're at. Then prioritize the organizations in which you're going to get involved. One or two, for starters, is going to be plenty. That's going to, going to keep you plenty busy. When you get in there, don't just stand around. Take an active role. Hey, they're always doing projects. They always need people to give a, a, a lending hand to, to work with. Go in there, get involved. Do something. Go to work. Accomplish things on a regular basis. Um, then as time goes on, work your way up into the e-board and all that stuff. So maybe you're going to be um, marketing director, publicity director, just something easy on but get to work on doing things like that. So you're basically someone, you're, you're, you're showing that you're a person who helps get things done. Now, here's the thing. When you're there as an achievement-oriented person, you're running across that prospect that you're interested in building business with. So you've got a good opportunity to engage them in a conversation. Maybe talk about a project you're working on. Um, you got some ideas that maybe uh, I could do this or this, uh, this thing like this. Get their input on this, getting back and forth. Then, and this is the key, Dale Carnegie came up with this in 1936. Get them talking about themselves. People love to talk about themselves. Talk about their business. Talk about how they built the business, what's made them successful. And here's the key then. Get them to present to you a picture of what they would consider to be their ideal prospect profile. What would that person happen to be? Um, thank them very much. Nice to talk to you. Move on. But you know what you got? You know what they're looking for in a prospect. So you know what you're going to do? Yeah, you know what you're going to do. You're going to send them a qualified referral with your name on it. And follow up on it. Make it look like it's kind of casual. You get in touch with them and say, hey, I was talking with so-and-so at such and such a place, and um, they indicated they might have a need for the kind of services you're providing, so I suggested you and they get together and have them give you a call, and um, they said they'd be in touch with you. So if you don't hear from them, say, in the next week or ten days, maybe you want to give them a call. What I've just very subtly done is kind of pointed out to make sure they know where that referral came from. Um, then I see them again next time I see them, shake hands, good to see you, stuff like this. But all of a sudden, I'm different because I have helped them build their business. I've done something for them. Now, at this point, I might be able to talk about myself a little bit and what I do and get them engaged in the conversation of how what I do might help their firm. That's getting into the getting appointment script we're going to get into here in about just a moment. But only then, when I have some credibility with them, can I now get into doing that sort of thing. Um, so, on this thing here, I've now begun to build some people that are interested in talking to me. So moving right along now to actually getting the appointment. Let's consider a situation that we're into here. Um, and let's think about, you're a representative for the real yellow pages. It's still around, still around. And you're calling on the law, law firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. Um, this firm is not the upper class in town. They, they specialize in DUIs, drug violations, personal issues from everything from bad checks to barroom brawls. Now, right now, what they're doing is they're advertising on, on cost cables, Blue Lights, which is a criminal-oriented program. Um, they have a lot of billboards on Fairfield between Pace and Palafox, which is right by the jail. So, you, what do you think they could benefit from an ad in the yellow pages? Half-page ad is $8,000 a year. You think it would generate $50,000 in fees for them. Full-page ad is $12,000. You think it would generate $125,000 for them. 
The objective for you is get the full page ad. If not, get the half page ad. Now, here's a number of this. Generally, you're going to seek the appointment by contacting the prospect by phone or email. But sometimes you might decide there's something to be said in favor of just showing up, especially if your phone calls or emails uh, were not successful. What have you got to lose? Just show up. Just do it. In that situation, um, let's say that you're going to talk now to the receptionist that's there and says, well, Mr. Cheatham would handle that, but he's, he's very, very busy and he gets $500 an hour. So, tell you what, make your presentation to me. If Then I will take it to Mr. Cheatham. If he's got an interest in it, we'll get back with you. Uh, no. You do not make the presentation to her. She has no skin in the game. You're not going to get anywhere with that. You've got to get face to face with Cheatham. Um, bring back the referral that you had. Um, uh, something he'd want to know about. Now, on this referral, by the way, you got to have a referral up front. Someone that suggests you contact them. Since you're watching this video right now, you can use me. You can say Bob Kimball from the University of West Florida suggested I get in touch with you. You can do that. That's cool. Do it. Um, and explain. 20 minutes to explain some of the ideas. If that doesn't seem possible, could you get five? In fact, if that's not possible, what do you think? You think you could get 90 seconds? You know what? I'll bet you there's an awful lot of people who seem to be very busy that would give you 90 seconds just to see what you could do in 90 seconds. So 90 seconds is fine. Basically what you're going to do in the 90 seconds, you certainly cannot present your proposal and build agreement on that. Certainly not, let alone close a set. But you can go through the getting appointment script that we're about set to get into here which is what you would do if you were making the initial contact by phone or email. So you're basically just doing the getting the appointment script and asking for an appointment to go on with them that all. Now, I kind of prefer using an email for a quick intro, um, say hello, then follow up with a phone call face to face to actually set the appointment. Get the phone, lets you ask some questions, uh, two-way dialogue, interact with each other a little, but don't go too deeply into it. Um, you might just go with email, basically do it works for you. That's the whole point of this thing here. You've got to find your own way of doing it. But for right now, let's consider the tactic of seeking, seeking the appointment via the phone. So let's say on this thing here, um, there's one point I've got to make here again. The purpose of the phone call is to get the appointment, period. Do not present over the phone. Um, if you're talking to the receptionist, the more you talk to the receptionist, the less likely it is you're going to get through to the prospect. And when you're on the phone with the prospect, the more you talk to them on the phone and start presenting to them, the less likely it is you're going to go face to face. And you've got to go face to face if you're going to close this thing. And if they say, well, could you just send me some stuff? Well, we don't do that because I'm sure you will have some questions I'll need to answer for you. Notice the focus on the prospect. You will have questions I will need to answer for you. And you're going to know in 20 minutes, and we'll get in the script here momentarily and all this, for some reason why we need to get together in person and all this. I would urge you as well, avoid gatekeepers by calling early. All right, the gatekeepers are there, say, 9 to 5. I'll bet the prospect's in there by 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I bet the prospect doesn't leave at 5, so you can make your phone call before the gatekeepers get there or after. A lot better chance of getting through. In fact, and this whole thing here of, of getting in and uh, doing it in person. After the gatekeeper's gone home, why don't you just walk in by their office? Walk in there. Their reaction may be, ha, 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 what are you doing here? What are you doing like this? Oh, Bob Kimball at the University of West Florida suggested I uh, come by and speak to you. Um, have you got a real quick minute? That's another phrase I love. Have you got a real quick minute? That person may think, you've got no right to just walk in here. Well, that, that's fine. That could happen. Uh, it may not, um, but here's the thing, keep in mind, you are not a proper certified um, Kimball trained sales predator until you have been escorted from a building by security. So again, what do you got to lose? Get in there and, and sell them, just need a real quick minute of your time here, even to get that quick 90 seconds to get started with this here. Um, so then, let's get in and talk about what your script is going to be when you're trying to get the appointment. Now, I've, I've come up with 
situations here where I've described, you may be getting, doing your getting appointment script face to face. Okay. Uh, very often it's by phone. Be willing to adapt to it. But it's very, very quick. And I'll go through and then give an example of it. You're first of all going to greet them and give your name and the company you're affiliated with. Let them know who you are and what you are. Then the referral. <clears throat> Always a referral. Always a referral. Um, <clears throat> reason for the call. Talk about some of the things your company's been doing, some of the benefits it's had to the companies that you've been working for. And people, the benefits are really simple. You increase their profits, reduce their costs, you made their life easier, one way or another, on something like that thing here. Um, confirm to them the importance of that benefit with a tie down. Don't be saying something stupid like, you want to make more money, don't you? That's pretty stupid. No, say something like, I'm sure that you're every day thinking about what sort of things can we do to enhance our revenue. Now notice how I phrase that, enhance our revenue. I made that a question with that. Or you can do the formal tie down. I'm sure you think about ways that you can enhance your revenue, can't you? Whatever. You can do the formal tie down, can't you, won't you, wouldn't it, isn't it, yeah, whatever, or just an inflection on your voice, but the point is, you make it a question. You don't just say, I'm sure you want to increase your revenue. That doesn't get you. Turn it into a question. I'm sure you want to increase your revenue. Hmm? Something like that thing there. Um, then, that's almost assured to be confirmed. Of course. How do you lose? Of course they're looking at trying to increase their profits, reduce their costs, make life easier for them a lot of this. Then, now you go into asking for the appointment. It's only going to take me about, whatever, 20 minutes to explain some of these ideas. They may not be right for you, I'm not sure. I think it's a very important qualification statement to say. I'm not sure that they're right for you. Um, that, yeah, you'll know in 20 minutes, something like this. Then you go on here and say, um, only takes about 20 minutes, I'm sure you know that. How about mm, Thursday morning at 10, how would that look to you? Well. Be point of this one too. Do not ask what time would be convenient for you. Suggest a time and then shut up. And so, Thursday morning at 10. Chances are at that point, the first time you ask for the appointment, they're going to try to turn you down. Well, I really don't want to do it right now. And somebody says, no, I think we've got to let this go for a while, stuff like this. At that point, ask them a couple of questions. Here's the funny thing about it. You're going to ask them a couple of questions so such as, oh, what do you think about what you're paying? What do you think about the service you're getting? They may tell you they're totally satisfied to which you're going to come back and say, that's interesting because Fred Frump of such and such a company said the exact same thing. And he said, we were able to save them such and such an amount of money on this. I'm sure this is something we need to talk about. Uh, if Thursday morning at 10 look good to you? Now, you can have a wide variety of situations for this. But in every case, this is what you're going to do and walk through the getting the appointment script. Um, give them all what you're doing. Real quick. Greet them, identify yourself, note the referrer, quick reason for the call and what the benefit is you're gonna, you've been bringing, confirm the benefits important to them, and then you have the request for the appointment. If you get it then, great. But if you don't, a couple of questions. And what's really funny about it is makes no difference what they say in the questions. It's so-and-so also had those feelings about it, but you've been able to help them achieve this, that, and the other thing. Ask for the appointment again. Doing it this way, you're going to find. <clears throat> you're going to get about half your appointments with the second request, not just the first one. So make sure you go through it and get that second request. So, that's mod four. Prospect, prospecting, and getting appointments. And this is Bob Selznick.